Hello, hi everyone. My name is Magdalene and I love studying literature. Today, I would like to focus on the first text, Adult House by Ibsen, and I would major on literary devices. You can like and click the subscribe button for more videos. The first literary device is symbolism. This is a device through which a writer uses an object or a character to bring about a different meaning that is deeper and more significant. Outside of literature, we encounter symbolism in everyday life. For example, the dove is always a symbol of peace, whereas a red rose or a color red stands for love or romance. In adult house, Ibsen uses symbols to bring his message home. This creates mental pictures in the reader's mind which enable them to see the kind of relationships that exist between characters and their character traits. The various symbols used in the play are one is the Christmas tree. The play opens on Christmas Eve as Nora brings a Christmas tree to the house and instructs the maid to hide it from the children until evening when it is dressed. The tree serves to decorate the house during Christmas and it has to be dressed to look more beautiful and appealing. This symbolizes Nora, who serves the same purpose in Helma's house. He uses her to impress himself and he even dresses her up in costumes and makes her dance for him. In Act 2, the state of the Christmas tree as expressed in the stage directions, stripped of its ornaments, burnt down candle ends on disheveled branches, symbolize Nora's psychological state. According to the stage directions, Nora is alone in the room, walking about uneasily. Basically, Nora is a mess, and so is the tree. She's gotten the bad news from Krogstad, and as a result, her mind is just as disheveled as the tree. The tree state is symbolic of Nora's disintegrating wave of life. The pretty decorations which Nora uses to cover up her deceits are falling away. Soon, the ugly truths will come forth. The doll's house is the second symbol, which represents Helma's house where Nora is his doll, to be dressed and played with for his amusement. In the conversation Nora has with her husband, she tells him that their house has been a playroom with Nora as his doll wife and the children as her dolls and she thought it great fun when he played with her the same way she thought it fun to play with the children. She looks back and realizes the great sin both her father and her husband have committed against her and because of them she has never made anything out of her life. The third symbol is the new year. This symbolizes or rather represents a new beginning. The Helmers look forward to the new year since Helma is newly appointed the bank manager, which means more financial stability and a better life for the family in the year. However, hmm, this is never to be because they will have a totally different beginning with the marriage disintegrates. Krogstad and Linde also have a new beginning, having reconciled and decided to start life together as a couple, while all other characters will begin a new phase in their lives. For instance, the maid will take the place of a mother in the children's lives, and the children will have to do without their mother. Macarons is the other symbol in the text Adult House, which represents Nora's disobedience and deceit. Torvald has banned Nora from eating macarons, but in the beginning of the play, we see Nora eating them in the living room, yet she claims that she never disobeys him. She lies to Dr. Rank about having been given some by Mrs. Linde, and after a performance of the Tarantella, asks that macarons be served at dinner, indicating a relationship between the macarons and Nora's inner passions, both of which must hide within her marriage. Birds is the other symbol that we find in Ibsen's adult house. You remember the kind of birds talked about? We had the skylark, the songbird, and the dove. They represent Torvald's view of Nora as a creature meant to entertain and delight him. Nora is referred to as skylark or songbird by Torvald whenever her happiness pleases him. When she is frightened, she is his dove. When he is unhappy, Torvald calls Nora, referring to her in terms of birds such as a songbird must have a clean beak.
they also represent Nora's flight to freedom as she is like a caged bird kept from the beginning of the play but by the end escaping. No. Money is the other symbol that we see in the text. Money symbolizes men's control over women who are not allowed equal access to it. The play begins with Nora flirtatiously asking Tobald for money and ends with her refusing to take any belongings from his house except those she owned before they met. She also rejects his offer to help her financially as she leaves, showing that she wants to shed Tobald's control over her. Christine also in the play, in direct contrast to Nora, has means to make money, which gives her the power to make her own choices. Letterbox is the other symbol in adults' house I'll talk about. In general, letterboxes are considered as communication devices for the upper class people. The letterbox in Ibsen's adult house is used as a way to communicate hidden information between Torvald and Nora. It is a tool to oppress women because the male has the key which represents the masculinity and the power in the relationship. Since the man has the key, it is his decision to control the women in the relationship. At the beginning of the play, the letterbox appears to be Nora's antagonist or enemy. However, by the end of the play, it becomes the key to her freedom. The letterbox has many versions to it. We see it as locked, it has glass and therefore transparent, sometimes full, sometimes empty. Nora lives a doll-like life where Torvald has total power over her as represented by the locked letterbox. The empty letterbox foreshadows what will happen to Nora. The glass in the letterbox personifies the fragile state of their marriage due to the secrecy and the lies they keep from each other. Similarly, the transparency of letterbox unveils the truth. By confronting Torvald, Nora is able to liberate herself from the oppressiveness of the gender inequalities symbolized by the look and key of the letterbox. The tarantella is the other symbol that we find in Ibsen's adult house. A tarantella is a rapid folk dance from southern Italy. It symbolizes Nora's transformation from the calm and obedient wife to a free and aggressive person who can do things her way without caring about placing anyone. It also symbolizes the pretense Torvald and Nora have set in the play as the staple of their relationship. He instructs and she performs. He criticizes and she dances faster to please but she doesn't please him either. Dress and costume is the last symbol I would like to address. In the play, Nora changes the fancy dress and wears her ordinary dress after the dance. You remember? This symbolizes Nora's transformation from the dependent and voiceless person to an independent, decisive person. It is in this dress that she challenges Helmer as a mature person, not a doll, before leaving him forever. Nora's fancy dress for the party symbolizes the character she plays in her marriage to Torvald. Note that when she leaves Torvald in the last act, she first changes into different clothes, which suggests the new woman she is to become. Well, that marks the end of my exposition today on symbolism in a doll's house. Remember to click and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.